I see your guys' comments and it is noted. I'm doing two things to take care of this. One, I'm going to paste a lot less, which is causing the most of the dizziness. And two, I picked up a Ronin SC, which is a handheld stabilizer. I do have my Ronin M right here, which is more of a heavy duty gimbal for my EOS R, which is recording me right now. But now we have a more portable handheld Ronin SC gimbal for our vlog camera, which is my Canon M50. We will be going from my switch pod, which is more of a handheld vlog stick that switches out to a tripod. Uh, to our Ronin SC because as much as I love this product with this I notice I pace a lot more than I need to and also for quick cinematic footage This isn't the most stable thing in the world So we will be going from this which causes me to pace around a lot which you guys are seeing in the videos and cause a little bit of shake It's not the most stable thing in the world and it causes you guys to get dizzy really quickly. So we're going from this to damn Okay, this is gonna take some getting used to I can see it's a lot more steady a lot more smooth It's not as heavy as I was expecting either. It's pretty lightweight and I'm sure when it comes to cinematics It's gonna look a lot better. So the vlog should be a little bit more steady I'm gonna practice with this as much as I can so I can get this whole setup down and uh, Make everything as fluent as possible. I definitely think this is a worthy purchase I'm gonna use it for a couple days and see how this goes. Um, but that is not what today's video is about. Today is about leaving the BRZ with just a wrap to get the car wrapped throughout the next four days. So I just wanted to include this whole little camera thing because my two hobbies are cameras and cars and I kind of just like to show you guys what's going on behind the scenes between these vlogs so I can improve as I go. So yeah, um, we have to drop the car off at Justin's so we can start de-assembly and prepping the car for the wrap. But first we have a quick pit stop at the Subaru dealership. Our crash bar just came in so we're gonna go pick that up and bring it to Justin's at the same time so that when we deassemble the car we can put it back together with the new crash bar. So let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, here's Jimmy. What's going on YouTube? Damn. That is a very hard trunk. We made it fit in this small car. <laughs> Alright, what is going on guys? Today's video is going to seem very rushed because most of this video was actually supposed to be filmed yesterday, but when I started filming yesterday, I ended up getting a call from my dad to rush to the pet hospital to put down my childhood dog buddy because cancer ended up getting the best of him. And after that, it was a huge mood kill, so I just took the day off. So yeah, I will definitely miss Buddy. Love that boy a lot. And um, it was just really crazy to me because Buddy was in a lot of my videos as I was trying to do YouTube back in middle school. And you know, to see him go, now that I'm actually doing YouTube like full time as like a career, um, I think Buddy would be proud of me. So um, definitely gonna miss that boy. But on lighter news, today we are going to be dropping off the carbon fiber fenders at the body shop and getting an update on Harold's car, seeing where it's at in the rebuild process. And then we have to head to the Subaru dealership and pick up the new crash beam for the BRZ because that just came in. And then we are going to be leaving the car with just a wrap today and disassembling it and preparing it for the wrap. So, so a lot of exciting things going on. So let's go ahead and head to the body shop. Okay. All right, let's go look at the car first <sighs> and then we can bring out the carbon fenders. Are you ready to see your car? I just you want I want to see it disassembled. Well, it's I want to see of... I want to see what progress you got on it. Yeah, yeah, progress is definitely what I want to see. It's not out here. Oh, oh, what's right there? Is that? <laughs> Maybe it's, it's that's mine right there, guys. It's the Ferrari. It's the Ferrari. That's me. Oh, there she is. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> that's like they put party hats in my exhaust last time. Give her wings. Oh my God! Look, it's coming back together. Wait, I thought this side was hit. Oh, this this is this is all fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Wow. You could tell. They fixed that fast. See, it looks like it looks exactly. It looks like it wasn't hit. Ooh, it's clutch for real. It's clutch. You're working fast over here, bro. I'm saying. Like, they painted, they already fixed that whole side on the Yeah, I, it literally looks like nothing even happened. <laughs> like, I'm good, I can return the wide body. <laughs> Alright, wait a minute. Hold on. Stop playing. <laughs> hey, dang. I ain't seen it in a minute. The seat's, the seat's cold because my 
but has it there when we get <laughs> EFM. Like she had just gotten these the <laughs> night before. The oh, night no. before. Hey, that's and the first mod then. Literally, the as soon as I get back, those are getting changed. Like LEDs right here. Amber, it's gonna be white because that I was like, I was like, ah, I, you know, I, the lights you just got me. Um, Brandon hit my Not gonna be able to, sorry, he has him. We are now done at the body shop. Got a good look at Harold's car, you know, got to see the progress on it. But uh, now we need to go pick up the crash bar for the BRZ at the Subaru dealership. And then we need to go home and see if we can shove the wrap in this small car. And then once we get the crash bar, we need to go to Just Wrap's house and begin the disassembly and cleaning process. Right, we got our crash beam. <laughs> yes, Big boy repair parts, my fault. There you go. Let me change that. Oh my god. Who said a BRZ wasn't practical? As you guys saw, we got the crash beam from Subaru. They were actually able to get the crash bar in in like four days, so the wait wasn't that long. Now it's a matter of cramming this wrap into the BRZ and then heading to Justin's house. Let go. We are coming home to pick up the wrap. And, uh, interesting. What has our sponsor sent us today? Ooh, is this Harold's new rims? Only one so for me, they, they just <laughs> put so much love on me all of a sudden. Yeah, I literally would have no idea what this is. Um, hey. Drip. Yo. Some drip. Some drip. Oh my god. Yo. Anovia. Anovia wheel. A, a whole new wow. brand. Entire Anovia shirt. Oh yeah. Well, then and this that, is my stuff. That'll, that'll it fit me. No, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, an Anovia's. Oh, that's a an clean sticker. sticker. You can kind of see it through there. Oh, I'm definitely putting that on the car. What's in the, what's we'll in the envelope? <gasps> Whoa, and they signed it. We hope you're. Yo. Okay, that is. Cool. That's, that's going to have to go up on the fridge <laughs> like a dog. Shout out to the Anovia team for sending out a nice little care package. Got a cool sticker, a really nice t shirt, a cool hat. I think uh, Anovia is really taking care of us and uh, we have a new set of wheels coming for Harold's car from them as well actually so this is going to be a really so cool process. I'm going to need y'all to choose. This is going on my car or his, I think it'll be definitely better on the... That's definitely going on the... I don't think there's space for any stickers bro. I think this, you know what I'm saying? This guy. Thank you Anovia. Really unexpected package. I was not expecting that at all. We now need to get this wrap in the BRZ and to just a wrap. Does it have handles or anything? I don't know. Oh my. Oh yes sir. Let's get this wrap in here. Oh, will it fit? Forgot about that. Time to get this BRZ wrapped. Nice. So yes, it'll fit. You know, this car kind of comes into your front seat, but it fits. But look at that, look where we are. Oh, we are here. Look at that bumper, it's like falling apart. What are you talking about? Oh my God. I don't know what you're talking about. It's look, like, you, see, you see something, I see something. I see nothing. Totally too I'm too not too sure too. what happened. See, oh I paid Harold to, to not acknowledge the accident. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cone head. I love oh. cone head. All right, well, welcome to the Just Are Out headquarters for now. Yes, shop for is, now. He's going to be moving into a shop sometime soon. Come on. Take a look at this. You guys sure. saw this in the coilover video. Yeah. Um, but uh, that was at nighttime. You guys can see it in the daytime. It's a lot more subtle thanks to our BRZ. So this is going to be on really a cool. Day, it's more subtle. Yeah, it's yeah on a cloudy day. It seems very subtle. We are in good hands. We got the BRZ here. I just, you know what? Sometimes I don't look where I step. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, First of all, we gotta get out this toolbox. You can see big, oh, big swole man. See that? As well? Yeah. Okay. All right. No, we aren't going to be revealing the color in this video, sorry. You guys will see it in the next. I'm going to clip hang y'all. And then we have the crash bar. This one is actually in full black. The crash bar that's on the car right now, they seem to have missed a spot for some reason of painting it black. They, for some reason, didn't paint the center there black. What the heck? <laughs> they missed Yo. a spot. Stock crash beam off the car, as you guys can see. 
like I said, this isn't painted for some reason. Now we have a fully painted one and it's brand new. Not chewed up on the edge here like this one. And uh, you know, with the crash beam off, we were able to see that the frame is fine. Uh, I did get a comment saying that the frame might be bent. I'm comparing it to the other side. This looks even. It was just the crash beam that took the hit. So we're gonna mount on the other crash beam and get ready for our new front bumper, which should be here from the Low Glow team next Thursday, hopefully. All right. We have this whole side all buttoned up. You got the crash bar, new crash bar in, put the foam back on. And we managed to actually pull the fender out a little bit with a rubber mallet and put the headlight back in and it's actually flush now. So we don't need a new front fender. All we need is a new front bumper because all of this is all lined up perfectly. It's all lined up the same as this side. So the car is ready to go and it's ready for the front bumper. So that's all it's gonna need. Justin got the whole car deassembled. What you doing, Justin? You laying on your color? Yes, sir. Damn. That looks so good. All right, so yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's video. We got the car getting the wrap beginning starting now. Now that Justin's taken off the side mirrors, the door handles and the badges and the antenna, the car is ready to go. The car should be done around next Monday, but the front bumper is not here till next Thursday. I know Justin's schedule is pretty busy, so we're not gonna be able to finish the car all at once because of his schedule. But once the bumper gets here, we'll bring it here, get it wrapped, and then the car will be complete. And uh, yeah, I mean, car's looking good. Um, the whole front was able to get fixed. And, uh, and and we are already beginning the wrapping process. So the next video, guys, you will see, I will reveal the wrap color as we wrap the car. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, never stop dreaming.